All right, so now we've come to the final step of the basic post installation steps. Your system is ready to use once you do this, uh, and that is the SGen. And again, SGen will be incredibly fast if you uh, optimize your system to your resources. Um, and uh, like in the previous video, we've optimized, we've increased the, uh, like you said, uh, we increased the RAM to uh, 64 GB of that 54 GB is available, 9.6 is being used by SAP. And we increased uh, the cores to 16. So now let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, run the SGen. Okay, and uh, we're going to do this and we're going to select the components we're going to select all components continue okay 222 components selected this is because it is uh, IDES uh, just to uh, show you the components that we're talking about if you go into status you can see uh, EHP 7 version of IDES has incredible amounts of uh, components uh, stuff that you never saw in the previous EHP 6 that they've included stuff that you probably never use is included in this and we're going to compile every single one of them they have the um, event management packages IAM a subcomponent of it that's also included you know um, the GTS components are included SEM components PLM is all is, is a part of SAP that's the learning solution um, crazy amounts of uh, comp subcomponents gateways already included um, all these third-party tools are included so um, external learning search LSO LSO FE all that stuff is there so uh, that is why I just takes a very long time on some systems that's that is a basic system it will take as long as a few days so let's go back and uh, continue components I'm going to select all components continue 222 components and we have only one application server so I'm going to continue with that you can see how fast it's going mainly because and I want to keep I want you to keep track of uh, memory usage see how much RAM this RAM usage is going to show up as soon as the process starts and you can see disk usage going up by a lot maybe at 100% because disk is always the limiting factor and we are running on uh, RAID RAID disk disk array we're waiting for the process to compile and tell us how many programs are there to to uh, pre-compile so we're just waiting for that okay as you can see checked objects running more than half a million programs it's going to compile all right so it is telling me of the half a million components only 366,000 needs to be uh, compiled so now we select this job and we start activate the job so the activated time is here start date and the start time 831 and uh, it will give you an approximate run time so from 365 it's running thousands of programs it's compiling and you can see activity see you can see the activities remember we changed all the we added extra dialog process look at it it's all being used by IDN men for compiling so this is how you optimize a system for uh, SGen and uh, let's take a look uh, it says 99 hours to completion again it will drop as the time goes by see hard disk is at a hundred percent 
memory shot up from 9 to 13 and it'll keep going up CPU usage at 88 percent if you were to run S Gen on your local machine not a virtual machine if you run it on a local machine you will never see CPU at 87 percent you probably see that 20 percent because the S SAP dispatcher does not have the capability of ut utilizing uh, the OS resources so on a virtual machine it will max out everything so that is why if the if we had uh, more IO on our disk this this we would have maxed off the CPU and then the memory so in this system hard disk is the limiting factor then the CPU and then the memory in most cases it's always uh, the hard drive then the memory before the CPU here we have tons of memory so it's limiting CPU disk CPU and memory but uh, as you can see it's already at 63 from 66 99 became 51 if you keep an eye out it's 8:34 a.m. right now and uh, I'm assuming by 10 or 11 it would uh, it would finish the task in a few hours so it's incredibly it's going incredibly fast All right, guys, we'll check back on this. Okay, we're back. It's 9.03, about 30 minutes, approximately 30, 35 minutes have gone. You can see the disk is at a consistent 100%. The RAM has gone up from 13 to 20 now, and it'll keep going up as the time goes on. CPU's at 86%. Let's refresh and see how much. Yep, 2.56 has components has run in that 831 is what it started at nine is now it's 904 estimated runtime is three hours and four minutes which is incredibly fast incredibly fast so uh, I'm going to end this video now because there's no point running it and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, chapter